Hi there, Sam Medina again from the Rift Online Church. Today, let's talk about religion. Now, I know it's gotten really popular in the church to condemn religion. People say, oh, I don't want to be religious. It's bad to be religious. Religion doesn't save you. Jesus does. Yes, Jesus saves you, but Jesus had no problem with religion. In Matthew chapter 23, verse 2, Jesus said, The Pharisees, the, the scribes and the Pharisees, sit in Moses' seat. Therefore, everything they bid you to observe and do, that observe and do. Only do not after their works. Now, Jesus' problem with the scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Woodducees and the Coodducees was not that they were religious, but rather that they were hypocrites because they would tell you to do something. They say, but they don't do, he said. So they would tell you all these religious things to do, but they wouldn't do them themselves. Or they would create traditions and rules that would give them technicalities where they could get out of the righteousness of God. They, they came up with ways, you know, they said, you know, you can swear by the temple, but you can't swear by the gold that's in the temple. And as Jesus said, what's greater, the gold that's in the temple or the one who sanctifies the gold? And, you know, so on and so forth. So they had all these traditions. That was the problem. The problem wasn't being religious. Jesus told the whole crowd to be religious. He told them to practice everything they command you to practice. All of the religious observances. Does that really sound like Jesus didn't want you to be religious? There's nothing wrong with being religious. What's wrong is being a hypocrite. What's wrong is being ritualistic for the sake of being ritualistic. And what I found with ministries that teach you not to be religious is they're going to have you not praying. They're going to tell you it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And, and that appeals to the flesh because the flesh don't like to pray. So I've seen people go from, you know, they're praying an hour, sometimes two hours a day. Some people prayed more. I knew people who were, they were praying five hours a day because they were a deliverance ministry, minister in their church. Now they barely pray at all because they've been taught not to be religious. And, you know, what a surprise. They've got all kinds of... Uh, spiritual problems now that they never had and I'm not saying you got to pray five hours a day what I am saying is there's nothing wrong with going after God there's nothing wrong with reading your Bible one ministry that he taught the crowd his congregation of people gathered there to mock you if you walked in with a Bible Bibles were not allowed in the sanctuary now not surprisingly this is Rick Joyner who teaches a whole lot of things that are contrary to the Bible, has all these visions and revelations that he claims to have had where Jesus tells him things that contradict what Jesus said in the Bible, which make no sense at all. And usually that's going to be the motive when someone's teaching you not to be religious, especially when they start teaching not you don't need to pray a lot, you don't need to fast, you don't need to, to obey the word of God because we're under grace, all that stuff. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Jesus said, I did not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. No, we're not under the Mosaic law anymore, but according to Romans chapter 8, verses 1 to 4, we are under the law of the Spirit and life in Christ Jesus. So grace doesn't mean you get to do what you want. And I add in that here, because a lot of times when people start talking about not being religious, it's usually because there are things they want to do that don't please God. And so, well, I'm not religious, so I'm not going you know, to sweat this, you know. Grace didn't mean you can do what you want. Grace provides forgiveness, but it also provides empowerment to do what is right. So knowing this, that Jesus had no problem with religion, the real problem Jesus had was with hypocrisy. He didn't say, beware the Laban of the Pharisees, which is religion. He didn't say that. He said, beware the Laban of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. The Pharisees were hypocrites. That was the problem. Because they had a, a real good appearance of being godly. But they were wicked at heart. So bear that in mind. Want to be religious? Go ahead, be religious. Just don't be real ritualistic. Don't do things just for the sake of doing them. Pray because you, you earnestly want to know God. Fast because you want to get close to God. Because you want to deny the flesh so you can so you can discipline your flesh and get it out of the way so you can walk after the Spirit better. Read your Bible because you want to know the mind and the heart of God. Those things are good to do. 
I'm Sam Medina. God bless you and God keep you.